Over the years, the teaching and learning of subjects including English language have been focused on grammar and content with emphasis on results. Thus, according to education experts, limits the abilities of learners to think independently, affecting their creative skills and capabilities in problem solving. In a bid to integrate communicative language teaching approach, English language tutors from the colleges of education in the Northern Cluster have been taken through basic methods of instruction in the English language. Cynthia Robertson, an English language fellow at the Accra College of Education, who facilitated the training session in Tamale, spoke to City News on some of the topics discussed. Today we were focusing on a communicative language teaching approach that emphasizes interaction, bringing the teachers away from the notion of a teacher-centered classroom to a, to a learner-centered classroom where interaction is key. Um, interaction really is the place where language acquisition takes place. And um, so I'm really moving away from that lecture style, um, especially in an English language class. Some participants who spoke to City News on the impact of the training called for frequent refresher courses to sharpen their skills and keep them abreast with new trends. We have learned a lot as teachers of English language. We have learned to interact our, with our students. We have learned to apply some kind of interactive approaches as well as you know child-centered approaches in lesson delivery. I have the conviction that if all teachers of language, English language, will apply the practical aspect of teaching the language, we will move away from concentrating on grammar and moving our learners to the communicative aspect of language acquisition. That is very important. As teachers of the language, we do not need to be seen as condemning the same learners that we want to move them to learn the aspect that we want them to actually learn. Meanwhile, the U.S. Embassy in Ghana, who are the sponsors of the program, said, even though frequent opportunities of this nature cannot be guaranteed, tutors are, however, advised to keep in touch with the embassy for tools and tips online to engage learners better. We, we worked with um, the College of Education here in Tamale today to put together um, this program for many teachers in northern Ghana to help them teach English better. And these are really um, active teachers who are really interested in improving their craft, so we're happy to help. I can't always guarantee that we'll be back all the time, but this is uh, hope, hopefully the beginning of a new opportunity to bring more best practices for English teaching to northern Ghana.